Caravaggio's works in Rome. There is no better way to get to know Michelangelo Morisi, known as Caravaggio, than by following this itinerary through the streets of the historic center of Rome and discover the masterpieces of this great artist. From here on begins a journey in the footsteps of Caravaggio scattered in various museums and collections of the Eternal City. We start our itinerary in Piazza Navona to see the triptych on San Matteo and San Luigi dei Francesi. One of the most significant assignments in Caravaggio's career was that of the decoration of the Cantieri Chapel in 1599, probably thanks to the influence of Cardinal Del Monte, the chapel of the Baroque Church of San Luigi dei Francesi, near Piazza Navona. Caravaggio developed a series of three paintings dedicated to the figure of St. Matthew, the vocation of St. Matthew, the martyrdom of St. Matthew and St. Matthew and the angel. The installation of these paintings in the chapel had an immediate impact, making Caravaggism popular among young emerging artists. Of the three paintings, one was rejected and the great artist was forced to make another, St. Matthew and the Angel. The original work showed the saint as a bald man with dirty legs, represented in an attitude of considerable effort to write and assisted by an angel who even held his hand to help him and believed that Tiz was rejected by the patrons. This theory is disputed though and Caravaggio painted it again, making it much more idealized and in this way adapted to the needs of clients. The first version was unfortunately destroyed during the Second World War, leaving only photographic reproductions as evidence of the original work designed by the artist. The Doria Pamphili Gallery houses three works by the artist. The Penitent Magdalene rests on the flight into Egypt and one of the two identical versions of St. John the Baptist. La Maddalena was part of a package intended to decorate the rooms of its first patron, Cardinal Francesco del Monte. Our next stop is in a church in Piazza del Popolo to see the conversion of St. Paul and the crucifixion of St. Peter in Piazza Santa Maria del Popolo. In the square of Santa Maria del Popolo, in the church of the same name, you can admire two other great masterpieces by the artist, the conversion of St. Paul and the crucifixion of St. Peter. The original versions of the paintings were rejected, and the works that are now in the chapel were made a second time in 1601. In the first, Conversion of St. Paul, the original work featured a complex composition and was rejected. It is in fact the second version that is currently present in the Tarasi Chapel, Conversion of St. Paul on the Road to Damascus. The first version is kept in the private collection of the Otis Kalki Balbi family. I regularly organize walking tours around historical centers in Italy, Spain and Malta so make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified about upcoming free walking tours. Continuing the tour of the churches we arrive at Santa Castino, where you can admire the Madonna di Loreto or Madonna dei Pellegrini, a painting executed in 1604 by order of Hermete Capoletti to decorate the family chapel in the Basilica. The Borgsi Gallery is a dream destinate for anyone who loves art. There are several works by Caravaggio at Galleria Borgesi. Here we'll see young man with fruit basket, sick Bacchus, Madonna dei Palafrenieri, St. Jerome, St. John the Baptist and David with the head of Goliath in which Caravaggio portrays himself in the face of the beheaded giant. The Vatican Museums host a unique but extremely beautiful work, The Deposition of Christ. This painting was one of the few works produced by Caravaggio that achieved unanimous approval, arousing the admiration of even contemporary critics, such as Baglioni and Valerie. Of all his paintings, this is certainly the most monumental. In the Barberini Palace there are two paintings, Judith and Holofernes, famous at the time for having provoked reactions of horror and surprise among the visitors of the original location due to its realism and its rawness. The notable influence of this work will be seen in the later versions of Artemisia Gentileschi, Judith Decapitates Holofernes, 1620, and Francisco de Goya, Judith and Holofernes, 1820.
In the Capitoline Museums you can admire one of the eight representations of St. John the Baptist that the artist made during his career, in particular known as Giovanni Il Battista, Young Man with Lamb, identical to the one found in the Doria Pamphili Gallery. There is also the painting La Bonaventura, very famous and copied by several Caravag guests, Manfredi, Bowie, Vincent and others. Indeed in his short life Caravaggio built a legacy. In Rome we can admire many of the works by this genius, but there are many other works that are worth discovering so make sure you subscribe to my channel, as more videos about Caravaggio and his artworks will be released soon. See you in my next video.